Uh, I'm starting today's vlog in the car. It's a Tuesday. It's a very abnormal Tuesday. I will preface that uh, because we have kind of a date. Kind of a date thing. Right, Brian? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Normally, we don't have day dates, but um, Brian recently quit his job and I'm also in transition looking for a job so you have time to and it's the least busy so it makes sense. Going to stop by the post office first to drop off some of the sale orders. Sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder not the lens. I'm also testing out the vlog camera in the car so hopefully the motion isn't too shaky. We will see. But yeah, gonna drop off mail and then head to Japantown and specifically to visit this 115 year old moji shop that is unfortunately closing in a few days and it had always been on my bucket list to visit it but I never made it a priority which I feel bad about. Yeah, we're gonna do that and then maybe like walk around Japantown. Hopefully there are some cherry blossoms blooming and maybe get lunch at my favorite ramen place which usually has super long waits so hopefully on a Tuesday it doesn't but again you never know being in the city so I'm wearing my cherry blossom outfit which is a pink outfit in hopes of summoning the cherry blossom gods and before I say any more I'm, I'm gonna check the clip to make sure it's not too shaky before I talk a lot but um I'll, we'll be in the post office in a few minutes.
tradition the line is too long and it sold out so we settled for my favorite mochi donuts those will be good to share with everyone some cherry blossoms too <laughs> he has no comment <laughs> no comment <laughs> some cherry blossoms cherry blossom aesthetic black sesame, matcha, uh, almond chocolate, strawberry milk, and kinako. So I'm gonna snack on a few of these. I'm gonna make myself a matcha latte and then pack orders.
Okay, so matcha latte is ready. I'm gonna cut little pieces off the pondering donut. That's the official name, but I think in America we just call it mochi donuts. I personally picked the black sesame and the kinako one, nutty flavors. <laughs> Maybe because I'm a little nutty. And then I'll cut some pieces off for our housemates too. So there's eight balls that make a ring and they just easy to pull apart. And they're made of usually like tapioca flour or rice flour. Uh, I think it depends on the recipe. little snack.
picking up some ingredients because I baked a cake, or I am right now, <laughs> baking a cake for Brian's birthday, um, which was more than a week ago, but today we are going bowling with some friends. We reserved like two lanes, and so I wanted to bake him a cake, which I started doing, I guess, last year. It's just a very simple strawberry fruit uh, whipped cream cake. <laughs> uh, so it's in the oven now, but um, I started to put on some makeup and then I remembered that I got some mail from an online order. So maybe I'll do a quick makeup haul. And then I also got some happy mail from a jar of pickles. So let me do, let me do a jar of pickles first. So look at the cute little details for Adar Pickles. Um, she was having, I think it was her five year shop anniversary. Look how cute the little dumpling is. I don't know. I've just been thinking about it and I really like the navy blue. The little dumpling with her design on it. On the back it says a jar of pickles. Kirsty is a super amazing business owner. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll link her down below and there's a lot of good tips if you are also a small business owner. I already know. I already trust her advice because <laughs> if you met her at any craft fair in the bay then you know she emits like boss. She miss, emits boss energy. Okay, kind of matches with my outfit. It's just a warrior's 
Chinese New Year t-shirt. It's actually kid size, so. But it matches, and now I have a dumpling on my head. It's nice and snug. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I got from a jar of pickles. I will try to peel off these stickers to put in my journal. Um, oh, there's a card in here. <gasps> cute, cute card. That's Kirstie, the shop owner, and Fred, her dog. back says so yes definitely check her out for cards she has stickers she has tapes beanies she even has baby beanies and she recently quit her job to do this full-time so very very exciting and she has a baby She's, okay just follow her account her insta stories are amazing oh also the story with this beanie is that it arrived uh, I think on Thursday or something, or it said delivered on the tracking, but then it wasn't delivered. And I was like, okay, let me just, maybe start, it was left on the, the USPS truck or something. So I gave another day, another day, and then it never came. Uh, so then I checked our cameras and I realized, oh, I think the timestamp that it says it was delivered, it shows um, them accidentally delivering it to the, the house one down, so. <laughs> Fortunately, we were able to text them and they were like, oh yeah, we have your package and they kindly dropped it off. So clearly I have the beanie now, but for a moment I was worried. I ordered makeup from The Bomb, which I think is a San Francisco started uh, makeup company and they were having a 50% off sale. I use this lip color like all the time. It's the Meet Matt Hughes. Uh, liquid lipstick in the color Committed. I got this because I follow Kate, I want to say Ortega, uh, who is like a fashion uh, Instagram influencer and she used this like for a while so then I got it and now I'm almost done with it. So I got a backup because I like it that much. And then I've always wanted to try this um, liquid eyeliner it's called schwing and i heard that it's like super duper pigmented uh and matte black so it's not like a very shiny one so let's try to draw a line oh it is very pigmented it's it starts off very glossy but i think it dries matte i love glittery eyeshadow so i saw these, they are, these are the Lid Quid eyeshadows. So I got three shades, Bellini, Lavender Mimosa, and Strawberry Daiquiri. Um, I could not actually find any uh, reviews for this, but like the photos online were so pretty. Ooh, okay, it is opaque. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's so pretty. That one's pretty too. So those are all three of them. Oh, the cake is done. Okay, okay.
This heirloom happy birthday sign from my birthday, 2020. Ta-da! Done. Good? I adjusted the camera settings so that I think the soft face filter thing is off. Um, so I think I should, should this, is, this is my actual face. <laughs> I had it on earlier, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know. Just a update on my <laughs> eye makeup. Brian, what did you say? Did you like it? Yes. He says he likes it. You can kind of see the shimmer. It's very nice. And the eyeliner is still in place. So thumbs up, thumbs up. We're about to head down to San Mateo to Pinstripes, which is a bowling alley. And we will spend the next couple of hours there. I'll try to get some clips of me trying to bowl. I'm not very good at it, but I will try. Um, and the cake is still standing. We have this cake here from when I did um, Brian's brother and his sister-in-law's, I did their wedding cake basically, so it's in there. And we taped the bottom of the cake board to the bottom of the cake carrier so that it won't hopefully slide. And then I have some extra whipped cream and strawberries if people want to add more. It's a super sunny day, which is very confusing. It's supposed to be like low 60s, like even high 50s. And we were going to originally make this like a barbecue, but we decided not to because we thought it was gonna be cold. Oh well. Do we need to bring anything else or we'll be good? We're good. All right. See you at the bowling alley in like one second. The host asked if the cake was homemade, and then I honestly said yes. And then uh, he said we couldn't eat it, so we can't eat it here. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> We're gonna miss everybody. Aww. We're going to New York. Aww. Yeah. Oh, you don't know we're going to New York. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know if we actually told everybody. It was, it, was on, it was on Denise's story once, and that's like all the publicly information we've ever said. <laughs> yeah. But uh, everyone should come visit us in New York. Yeah. And uh, at this the is same time? Denise's oh, yeah, same thing. Time. All at the same time. We'll do the same thing. Yeah. And you have space for us to stay at your place. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have, we have tons of space. There's like New a York, balcony. No problem. New York pinstripes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll bowl in New York. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, it looks good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that.